Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today, as you can see, I don't have any makeup on. Um, I am gonna be doing my makeup today. I'm gonna try to do as minimal talking as possible, um, just because I think it might be a little bit of a long video. Um, I have not tried out the look that I've done, so it's kind of gonna be an experiment to me. So we'll see how this works. Um, I hope you did check out my video that I posted the other day because um, this week I am doing two videos instead of one. Um, so the one that I posted the other day, that one is um, removal of my makeup and kind of some of my skincare routine. Um, I didn't put like obviously everything that I always do because I do face masks and um, facial scrubs and all that type of stuff. But this that was kind of more of my everyday um, that I usually do. And um, if you haven't seen it, go ahead and check it out. And I hope you like it. Give it a like. Um, go ahead and follow me if you want. Um, hit the bell for notifications. That way you can be notified when I do post. Um, so then otherwise, we're just going to jump right in here. I'm going to be doing a blue look because um, I feel like I've kind of dabbled in some other colors recently and I haven't really done a blue and I'm kind of dying to try this blue glitter um, that I have. I did get it from BoxyCharm um, and it looks like that and I kind of wanted to play with that so I wanted to try something blue today. Okay so then um, we will go ahead and start priming. For primer today I'm going to use the Touch and Soul No Problem Primer. I did get this from BoxyCharm as well. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use that and then I did get this one from work and it's an Ardell primer that I've used in previous videos as well. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and prime. Okay, that step is done. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start with my eyebrows. Um, for my eyebrows, I do use um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. And I do use it in the shade Dark Brown. And then for cleanup, um, I use the NARS Concealer. And this one is Light One is the color. It's a soft matte concealer. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. Um, here's my brush. Okay, now that my eyebrows are looking like a hot mess, I'm going to go ahead and clean them up. Okay, all cleaned up. So now I'm going to prime my lids and then we'll go ahead and get started on eyeshadow. And to prime my lids, I'm just gonna use a concealer from my um, Contour Cream Kit by Anastasia. Now that I look scary, I am going to blend it out a little bit. Okay, so now we're gonna start with some blue. Um, I am going to use my new favorite palette. Um, well, I love all the palettes that I have, but this is one of my new favorites, um, the James Charles Morphe palette. I'm gonna start off with this light color right here, Brother. I'm gonna start off with Brother. And dip that in with a um, smudge brush. Tap off the excess. And for this, I don't want to go too high because I'm not going for that kind of look. Okay, so now that's done. Um, I do want to add a little bit of like a like a nude cream type of color up top here so that it's not so bright because of the um, 
concealer that I used. So I'm just gonna take a regular little eyeshadow brush. Oh, this is a Sephora brand. I've had this for a long time. It's called Canvas. How appropriate. There you go. Okay, so I just put some color up there just because I didn't want all that white up there. And I'm really hoping that this turns out as well as it did in my head because if not, I'm gonna cry <laughs> because I need a video to post and I am going to cry if it doesn't plan out the way I wanted it to. I'm just gonna take um, this little, it's a Luxie brush. It's 131 um, mint angled. So I'm just gonna take an angled brush and I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my crease and look how beautiful that color is. It's so pretty, I like it. And if you did notice, I I don't know, did I say it? I'm wearing a blue shirt because I'm doing a blue look. Tried to color coordinate, you know what I'm saying? But this part is making me mad. Okay, now that we have something in our crease here, then I'm gonna go in with a little fun color to put underneath the glitter just because I don't want it to like blend in with the eyeshadow. Um, I kind of want this part to pop. This next one, I'm going to use the really pretty light one. It's called Playground in his palette. Um, let me kind of just show you. So I did use this one first, and then I went over with this one, and I'm going to put on that one. Okay, and before I put on the glitter, um, I do have this on my lid now. So I am going to actually wing this color here out. And I'm just gonna take a small little smudge brush and see how this works. I'm just going to use a little brush like this to put the glitter on. So I'm just packing that on there. It's really pretty. You can see I'm all shiny. I'm gonna clean off that excess before I go in for my other one. So I'm just putting a little bit of glue on here. Um, and my glue, or my glitter, um, it does have like a little lid so you're not dipping all into there. So that's kind of nice because then you don't get um, the rest of the glitter or the glue mixed in with the glitter. Okay, see, I got my glitter on. Um, I did fix up my crease a little bit just because I didn't like the way that it was sitting. Um, 
I am gonna do my foundation now. I do use the Tarte Amazonian Clay, as I've said before. Um, I do use the color Light Beige. And um, I'm today I'm gonna use a Beauty Blender to put it on. So, just go ahead and draw on your face however you want. As you can see, like I'm red and it's really like just um, making my face not so red. There, see, now I look better. So now I got my foundation on. I'm gonna finish up my eyes before I um, contour and all that stuff. I know this is more of a dramatic look, but I've been kind of playing around with colors a lot recently and I have been getting a lot of compliments on that. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to just experiment with you guys and kind of show you like when I experiment on those other um, looks that I've been doing, um, this is kind of my process sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't um sometimes i need to fix it and keep on going um so yeah it's not like uh, i'm pro or anything i'm just self-teaching myself so thank you for coming along the ride with me to um explore this part of makeup and um still continuing to watch my videos and um following me on social media and everything um, a little PSA on the, the on the glitter, and I'm sure if you've watched other um, beauty videos that they have said the same thing, but please, please, please don't put regular glitter on your eyes, anywhere around your eyes. Um, this is a cosmetic glitter that I have gotten from BoxyCharm. Um, don't use craft glitter or anything like that because you will hurt yourself. These are what I'm going to be wearing today. Um, I'm going with something a little more dramatic because I'm going with a dramatic look for this video. Um, so I will be doing that off camera. So if you want to just give me a minute, I'll be right back. There you go. Okay. So I got my dramatic ass eyelashes on. Um, so I'm going to finish my eyes and then we'll go ahead and start doing contouring. Um, I am just going to go in with a white eyeliner pencil um, just because the blue is already so dramatic that I don't want to um, and my eyelashes are already so dramatic that I don't want to go in with black um, and make my eyes look small so I am going to do um, a white one okay so I got my white eyeliner on I'm gonna pop um, a color here in um, in my corners I'm probably gonna go ahead and do like a silver Um, I'm going to put a little bit of blue underneath my eye um, my waterline. Okay, so then I have a blue underneath and I'm going to put a little bit of mascara there. So um, I'm actually really liking this blue. I didn't know if I was going to or not because um, I like the color blue, but I don't know how I like it on my face. And this is actually turning out pretty good. Um, so now I'm going to finish contouring. Look at that. Now I look like I literally have war paint on my face. Okay, now I'm all contoured out. I'm going to start with my bronzer. Um, first, I am going to use my Cover FX palette that I had just gotten. Um, and this has got blushes and 
um, finishing powder or contour and highlight and stuff. Um, I'm going to go in with the finishing powder in here in that new um, brush that I did. I did do a review on March BoxyCharm and I'll probably do one on April. Um, so if you want to check out how I reviewed these, um, you can go ahead. It is in my um, channel. And I don't feel like baking today, so that's why I'm just going to do a shimmer finishing powder. And it really just does the trick. Okay, so then I'm going to go in with my Sephora um, contour brush. I'm going to go in there with that um, contour bronzer that I have in here. Okay, I'm going to put on a little bit of blush. I don't want to get too dramatic with it because I have already dramatic eyes. I'll probably go in with my um, note. This is Desert Rose 505. Um, I do like this one. It's really pretty. comes with a mirror on it, and it also comes with a cute little brush. Um, I don't use the brush, but it is pretty cute. If you wanted to use that, you could do so. And it comes with a little mirror on it, too. And now I'm going to go on with some highlight on my face. Um, I do have a Naked Cosmetics holographic palette and I've showed it on my videos before but if you haven't seen those um, I'm going to use this blue one and they're so gorgeous. Um, I am going to use a crown brush that I have here um, to do it. Sometimes I like to do a fan brush, sometimes I like to do a, like a smaller brush. Um, today I am going to do a smaller one. Um, I did get a part of the crown affiliate program so if you wanted to go onto their website i have the link on my banner um, on my channel and you can follow that link and shop and then at checkout um, i have a discount code beauty by rosie and that'll give you 10 percent off um, so if you wanted to go ahead and do that be my guest i have the code right there for you and the link so i'm just gonna go in with that um that brush there and put that on my cheekbones if you can see it if I can get up in good angle there you go now you can see it I'm gonna put a little bit on my nose and a little bit above my lip. Okay, so then last but not least, I'm gonna do my lips. Um, and for today, since I am doing like a, um, I'm doing blue and then I'm also doing like a bronze um, brown on my face, I do love the lipsticks that NYX came out. Um, this one is probably my favorite and you'll be able to see why in a minute, why I love it so much. Um, so I'm going to put that on and then you'll be able to check. Um, it does go on creamy and then it dries um, more like into a matte. And I, I know not a lot of people do it, um, but I love matte lipsticks. I know kind of gloss is kind of in right now, but I, I still love my matte. Okay, so that's the way it goes on, um, and in a few minutes it will be completely dry, and I really like it. It's a matte lipstick. Um, it doesn't really come off when you're drinking things, um, so that's what I really like about it because that's what I really struggle with when I um, put on lipsticks. So yeah, so I'm going to set this with my Urban Decay D-Slick. Um, I like D-Slick and I also like All Nighter. Um, D-Slick, I've been kind of oily lately, so I am gonna use the D-Slick, but the All Nighter was like my first love. Like that is the first setting spray that I've ever used and I absolutely fell in love. And so I've only used Urban Decay since. Um, 
I'm yeah I just I don't know I just really love it and why mess up something that you you really love right so just stick with what you what you really like And to kind of um, air that out, because I don't like the water sitting on my face, I do have this beautiful fan that I'm just going to be extra with. Um, my hair is kind of looking a little flat today. I just had it tucked behind my ears for the purpose of the video, but now that I'm done, um, I am probably gonna spice it up a little bit. Give it some volume. Have some fun with your style, you know? Don't be so regular, regular. Um, <laughs> I don't know how else to call it. Um, I do love this look. I didn't know how I was gonna like the blue so much, um, just because I like it more on people, other people versus myself. Um, but I am kind of living for this right now. I was thinking if I should just wipe it off when I was done with this, but I'm kind of just gonna go all day like this and live my best life. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that's it for this video. Um, if you want to follow me, I do have um, Instagram for my makeup. Um, I do have a personal Instagram as well. Um, you could probably search me, both of them up, just by my first and last name, Rosa Nyberg. Um, I do have a makeup Twitter. Um, that one is just Rosa Nyberg, and then my title name is Rosa Nyberg Beauty. Um, if you wanted to follow me on there, kind of catch up and just check out what I'm doing all the time because I'm kind of always on there networking and everything um if you wanted to go and follow me on Instagram I do have um makeup that I don't because I don't record every look that I do um so if you wanted to go check out some other stuff that I do besides what I do on video you can go ahead follow me like my um like my pictures if you want you know if you want to be generous if you want to be nice um Otherwise, if you want to subscribe, if you really did like this video, go ahead, subscribe, hit the bell. Um, I will have the information down below in the comments, um, as well as my discount code. If you did want to go on that crown um, website and go order some makeup, go ahead, treat yourself. You'll get 10% off with my discount code, Beauty by Rosie. Um, otherwise, I will go ahead and I'll see you either on social media or I'll see you next week in another video. Okay, so thank you for watching.